It is a beautiful day here in Prescott, Arizona. We had about eight inches of snow up here on the Butte a couple of nights ago, but as is usual, the sky is perfectly blue. The sun is shining. Temperatures are coming up. The snow is melting. It is still winter, but spring is just around the corner, and spring is the time when many people choose to place their home on the market. And if you are one of those people, I have great news. Prices are still up. It's still a seller's market. Inventory at record lows, therefore competition is down. My advice is not to wait too long, but if your listing date is still weeks or months away, there still are some things you can do now to prepare, and preparation is the key. It is time to start the decluttering process. Take a walk around your home. What items will you be taking with you? What will you be disposing of or donating? You know, you need to give prospective buyers that blank slate when they walk into your home, especially if you are like me, a collector. If it's Native American pottery or antique dolls or my collection of gigantic ocean liner models, now is the time where you can pack your valuable items the way you want them packed. Don't wait until you're rushing around dealing with open houses and showings and offers. And, you know, this is also the time to deal with those minor repairs, those things that a buyer is probably going to ask for. A leaky drain, a hole in the drywall, a GFI outlet that needs to be replaced. If it requires a tradesman, you know, we've got some great ones here in Prescott, but they're always busy. Same thing with your landscaping. Drive up appeal, the first thing a prospective buyer will see. Do you have some brush that needs to be cleared? Or is there a walkway, an approach to your home that you'd like to landscape and give that extra pop? Fantastic landscapers, always weeks if not months out, so get on the schedule while you can. My name is Eric Matthew with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Bloom Tree Realty right here in Prescott, the number one brokerage. That's by the numbers and by customer satisfaction. If you haven't selected a real estate agent yet and you don't mind one who wears a kilt, I'd be happy to sit down with you and give you some more ideas of things you can do to prepare yourself for the inevitable day when your home goes live on the MLS. So until then, take care. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you soon.